Preston Physics, Grade 11, Energy, Work, and Power, Note 4, Kinematic Energy. When we're talking about kinematic energy, we're talking about the energy from movement. Now, again, we have to remember that work is the change in energy. And when we're talking about movement, we're going to go over some distance, and we're going to apply some work, and then we're always going to consider one of our velocities, our starting velocity, to be zero. So when we have our change in energy equals work, and work is always force times displacement. When we're moving, our force is always mass times acceleration, which we learned from our last unit. So we get our change in energy is equal to MAD, or M-A-D. In this case, we're actually going to rearrange for both acceleration and displacement using our V2 squared equals V1 squared plus 2AD equation. We end up getting AD is equal to v2 squared minus v1 squared over 2, or 1 half times v2 squared minus v1 squared. So really what we have is the change in velocity times 1 half. So when we substitute this in, we have v2 squared minus v1 squared over 2, but we can change that to mass times the change in velocity over 2. Now, remembering that we're always dealing with velocity 1 being 0, we can actually make the formula 1 half mv squared equal our kinetic energy, because v2 minus 0 would just be v2, where we say v is then our velocity. That means our energy is in joules, it's kinetic energy, mass is in kilograms, and velocity is in meters per second. We're now going to look at our two examples. The first one where we have a velocity and a mass and we're trying to find our kinetic energy. And the second one where we have our kinetic energy and our mass and we're trying to find our velocity. So if we have a pitcher pitching a baseball, which is 0.1461 kilograms at a velocity of 45 meters per second, we need to find our kinetic energy by plugging into 1 half mv squared we end up finding that our energy is 148 joules. Next, if we look at shooting our tank shell, we have a tank shell moving forward. It's 25 kilograms, and it's got the energy of 3.7 times 10 to the 7 joules. And we're trying to find the velocity. We need to rearrange our kinetic energy formula for velocity. So we get velocity equals 2 times our kinetic energy divided by mass underneath a square root symbol. So we have 2 times 3.7 times 10 to the 7 over 25 kilograms. We end up getting 1720 meters per second. The questions associated with this note are 12 to 14 from your yellow duotang.